guys welcome back to another video so this video is actually going to be a wig review this is from a different company I've already done a wig review from candy lover 89 with Angelica Torres and I've done another one with actually a company that I'm affiliated with called crown queen um, and uh, crystal is just the best she's so so sweet this is a different company it's called at so's wig or at hair I will try to leave all of the links and descriptions and whatnot to the hair in the description box. So if you have any questions about that, please look in the description box and I will also try to leave whatever I can up here. Um, so this company reached out to me to try this unit. Basically this unit is, uh, and it's basically the same haircut that I have currently which right now my hair is black and I have it in an asymmetrical bob and this is a is this is like a a bob wig so hey that's fine with me because if one day I wake up and I don't feel like straightening my hair I don't got to I can pop this wig on um but yeah so I'm really excited to show you this hair it is so soft and it is so beautiful and I've never had a human hair wig before there are some things that I'm gonna need to do with it but we can get into that later and I'll show you the process of getting it to my style so this is what it was sent to me in. it was sent in a box I do prefer when um, the wigs are sent in a box but yeah this is what it was sent to me in and the inside as you can see, the wig is inside a plastic. There. It's got a little bit of information of the company, different stuff like that. Okay, and it comes with a cap. nothing else so it is in a net okay, taking it out of the net this is a lace front wig so here goes right here the front of it so it's just right here, right at the front, that it's got the lace. Let me show you the inside. Now the inside, one, two, three clips. And then right here on the end, it's got like a thick, almost sweaterish kind of material and then lace I think I'm gonna cut this off the black lace I'm gonna I think I'm gonna cut that off I don't particularly need it because it's got the brown underneath so I actually want that so I'm, I'm probably gonna cut that off and it does have the wig straps so that if you needed to tighten it you could and I have not messed with this yet because I really wanted to like be on here and give you the nitty-gritty so I just have my hair back in like a little ponytail for now the hair is very very soft and I do have my straightener plugged in it is shedding just a little bit I've noticed I look down at my chair and I can see some little baby hairs strewn on it Okay, so I've got a little quick brush. I'm just gonna comb through a little bit. So it feels a little bumpy right here. Like, I don't know if you can tell, it's a little bumpy right there. It feels a little small on my head. I don't feel like I have a big head. But um, if you have a bigger head than me, I don't know if this would fit. And I don't have the straps tight. 
all I did was just hook them into the um, nearest hole just so that they wouldn't be loose. Yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna cut off this part right here because I don't see any sense for it. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. All I've done is I've kind of like gotten the hair and parted it the way I want it and I'm just straightening it under because it needed to be straightened and the good thing about this being real hair is you can have it on a good amount of heat without worrying about ruining it. Now what I gotta focus on is making sure that the part is the way I want it. So, I'm gonna start over here. And I will have to pluck a little bit. I may cut this side a little bit shorter so that this side is longer like I like it. Now it's probably going to take some training of the hair to get it to lay on this side like I like. I don't like a middle part. I like a, I like a side part. Yeah, I may have to train it. I'm definitely going to need to put this on a head and uh, pluck that part. Yeah, just moving the bangs over definitely is going to give me what I want as far as this side being longer than this side. And even if I wanted to, I could always cut the hair just a little bit shorter because I like this side to be shorter.
figure it out. How to flatten that. I can probably get my hair straightener and flatten that somehow. So that's not a big bump. Maybe if I put it on the wig stand and have something like a hat or something pressing it down, that'll definitely help too. And then as far as like right here, I can get some got to be or something like that. Definitely will get some concealer. I really probably for the most part will be wearing it whenever I wash my hair and I don't feel like straightening my hair. And I'll be wearing it like this in my usual bob. See how it looks like with a little bit of concealer and stuff. Okay, so I've put some concealer underneath and some powder on top. If I needed to, I could get some black eyeshadow because I may have overplucked just a little bit. I just need to figure out how to get this part flat. But anyway, other than that, this is the hair. It looks so good. It feels so natural. So yeah, I will put the link to the hair and everything. It didn't take a lot to do this hair which I'm really really happy about you can just run your hands through it guys I definitely recommend this unit you just got to work with it a little bit doesn't take a lot um, I don't think I'm gonna need to glue it at all um, if you don't like your bangs in your face it's real simple Get yourself a little thingy. Boom. It's so easy to style. Crazy is that? The little baby hairs. I don't even need to glue them down. Can y'all see this? So good. All right. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, thank you for joining me today. Subscribe if you have not already. Join the Glam Glock fam. Let me know down in the comments if there's anything else that y'all want to see, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.